All right, how are y'all doing? Haven't seen y'all in a while. Haven't really made any videos in a while. Here's me and Stacy. Hi. Well, we wanted to talk about a couple things tonight. And uh, we just went to the grocery store and got a couple things that we need to make food, you know, dinner. But I've been watching videos on what they're doing with our foods. Now, I don't know how many of y'all know it out there, but now the labeling has changed on our foods. A lot of stuff used to say GMO free and stuff like that, the GMOs. Now, if you look on a lot of your foods, it says bioengineered. So it's bioengineered. So what does that mean, bioengineered? It's made in the laboratory, right? Yeah, made in the <laughs> laboratory. They're making our damn food in a laboratory. It's like they're testing us or... You know, the bad thing about that is, is that's guinea pig stuff. Mm -hmm. So when they do this stuff, and you know what's crazy about it is, it hasn't been that long ago that they started <laughs> labeling this stuff. Yeah. The reason being is because I went in my pantry because I want to give, uh, I want to go through my food to see what had that labeling on it, the bioengineered. And uh, there was some food in my pantry that didn't have that labeling on it. So this is something they came out with not too long ago and that they're really putting on everything. It's pretty much as hard to eat anything that doesn't have this on there. Almost everything, y'all. You wouldn't believe it. So I went through my pantry and we had like, I had like, um, what was it? Like peanut butter and stuff, but it was, it was older, you know. So it didn't have that labeling on it. But I did come across some stuff that did have some labeling on it. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand what they're trying to do in one way. They're trying to make food last longer on the shelves. They're trying to make food last longer in your pantry. But at what cost is that going to cost? Is that going to cost human lives? Is that going to cost people to get sick? Is that going to cost people to get cancers? Don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that we eat. And and I guarantee you, 99% of you people out there uh, don't read everything on the label when you buy something for food. Um, I can tell you this. There's vending machines at the job I work at. You go get a rib sandwich. It almost looks like a McDonald's McRib, but it's like a you warm it up in the microwave. If you read the ingredients of that rib sandwich, you wouldn't believe. You couldn't read it. You couldn't read it because <laughs> the words are so long. It's just, it's got everything in there, you know? So it's like, what are these people pushing on us to put in our bodies? It kind of reminds me of a couple years ago. Y'all know what I'm talking about? That they wanted to put in their bodies, get the old uh, the jab. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of that, but they're sneaky. Let's think about this. I watched a video today, and this girl she had a lot of knowledge on this stuff. She said that they passed this law to call it bioengineered in 2016. They passed the law to do that. Well, it ha they, they haven't been doing that since 2016 because I've got groceries in there in the pantry that doesn't have that labeling on it. Yeah. So this is something they just started. started. Yeah. And they're sneaking it on people. The reason why I say that is because the way the girl on the video was saying was they don't have to put it on the label as bioengineered. They can also have a QR code. And I don't know if everybody knows what a QR code is. That's a little square box that basically you can take your phone and you can scan it. And it'll give you more information about what they're putting in our foods. Um, also, if they don't put that on there, they could put their phone number of the company and then you could call for more information. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think if I call one of these companies, like this company, okay? Y'all know this. Y'all probably use the same uh, dressing at home, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hidden Valley Ranch. They make good ranch. I got to give them that, right? But I don't like what they're doing. It's sneaky. 
okay? If you look right there, it says contains bio-engineered food ingredients. It's hard to see on my camera, but it says it, it says it like right in here, y'all. It says like right in here, okay? Now that's, that's just ranch. Buttermilk ranch, okay? <laughs> Something I eat a lot of is ranch. Mm -hmm. I like it on wings. I like it on salads. I like it on my, my baby carrots. I eat a lot of ranch. I eat it on pizza. I eat it on all kind of stuff. But they're putting stuff in our foods that we have no clue what it is. And they probably don't either. And they probably ain't going to tell you the truth even if you did call them. If you tried to call them, I wonder what they would tell you. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Maybe I'll call them. Not tonight, though. It's late. Tomorrow. They won't be there. <laughs> but think about this. These companies are out there rabbit ass mind. I mean, come on. There's bread out there. I watched another video. <laughs> There's bread out there that's made by Walmart. It's the Walmart brand, the great value brand. Okay. That bread, if you read on it, it says bioengineered on bread. The only right. bread that doesn't have that is the bread that they actually make in the store. You know, the ones in the cellophane, it doesn't have all that on there. But if you really think about it, what's in bread? You got flour, yeast. you probably got sugar, you got eggs, you got yeast, right? So if you really think about it, the eggs, the sugar, the yeast, the flour, it's probably all genetic too. They just don't write it on the damn thing. The wrapper. Probably is. Mm -hmm. These, I'm telling you, man, they are, this is crazy. How did our country and our government pass this? And it's so sneaky. They passed it in 2016. But people have been evidently paying attention because they've seen it on the labels. Because there's some people that do read labels. I don't. I'm a fat guy. I like to eat. I don't read labels. And either. I don't read labels. I really don't. I should. It good, I'm I should it. <laughs> read labels, y'all. But if you really think about it, that's pretty sinister. You know, that they're basically genetically modifying our foods. And it's almost in everything, y'all. You wouldn't believe it. I just showed you the ranch, right? We're going to make hot wings. We're going to make hot wings. We bought this today. Yeah. The ranch we already had unopened. We bought this today. Because we want it before I made this video and stuff. We bought this because we're going to put it on our our, uh, our wings. Yes. Now look what it is. Sesame seed teriyaki. It's like a sauce, right? That's a sauce. If you read on it, it's bioengineered too. Damn. Right here. It contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Crazy. Product it is highlighted. Of Product, and it's been pretty big letters. This one's in pretty big letters. I don't know if you can see it. My camera don't really show that. See it right there, y'all? See it? Contains bio, right under that, that circle. And this from this from Canada, eh? Eh? All right? <laughs> but think about it. They're putting in every damn thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you know, it's different if you put it in bread or something like that because you want to make it stay longer or, or keep good longer. There is videos that's, that's out there on YouTube where people will put a piece of bread on a cabinet for weeks, almost months at a time, and it, it won't even mold. It won't even mold, y'all. <clears throat> but the little mom and pop places that make, that make stuff like this, make foods, the government really doesn't um, make them follow that, okay? Probably because they don't do that. They don't genetically whatever they do to it. It's just the big companies, you know? And you got to think, who makes Hidden Valley Ranch, y'all? Do you know who makes Hidden Valley Ranch? Do you, Stacy? Hmm. Who makes it? Ranch? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Food product company. I don't know who makes it. But it's, some, it's probably a spinoff of some big company, like something like Kraft or something like that. It has to be off of a big company. Probably Hidden Valley. But the thing about it is, is this food that we are buying is genetically 
engineered. Now, what does that mean? It means it's made in a laboratory or something that's being genetically messed with. And also, the word bioengineered means that basically you can trace it. It can be that your genetics, you could trace it back to what it's coming from. Now, a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, but you remember how they said uh, GMO-free and stuff like that? Like you get Chinese food and say GMO-free or GM, it have GMOs in it? Well, basically, that was like, let's say you bought food that had like, a, let's say it was a cow and you were feeding it alfalfa seeds or alfalfa and it basically, the alfalfa seeds was genetic or... Uh, was basically genetically messed with to feed the cows, okay, to produce the alfalfa. So the cows eat it. You couldn't trace it. You couldn't trace it in genetics. This bioengineered stuff can be traced in genetics, in the genetics uh, makeup of it. So we got to be careful. I'm not no scientist. I'm not no freaking doctor. But I know when somebody starts messing with something, I know how it works. You got it. It's a teeter totter. Okay. It's a teeter totter. We start messing with stuff because it's good for the shelf and it stays longer and it helps the company uh, keep the products out there and they don't have to, you know, keep turning their products over. But also, what is it on the backside? What is it doing to us? You know, there's, there's stuff they're spraying on. Uh, vegetables and fruits in the grocery stores that makes it stay pretty, makes it look good, makes it last longer. It lets the air, it lets the the oxygen in, and it keeps the moisture in to keep the to keep the fruit from rotting. And they already do that stuff, and we don't even a lot of people don't even know they do that. They think they go to the grocery store and you're buying potatoes or you're buying this or buying that. You know, you're buying something fruit or a vegetable. You don't know that it's been sprayed with this stuff. How do you want to know? They spray it. When you go and look at an orange, I can get an orange off one of these orange trees out here. I live in a, I live in Florida. Bunch of orange trees. I can pick an orange from a tree. It ain't going to be pretty. It's going to be an orange. It's going to be a good orange. It ain't going to be pretty. It ain't going to be shiny and nice and beautiful orange and perfect. But I can take that orange and I can set it down on this table out here in this heat, humidity. Within a couple of days, it's going to get soggy. It's going to kind of shroon up. It's going to shrivel up a little bit. And it's going to kind of rot. It's going to get soft and nasty. Okay. The ones in the grocery stores that you're buying, oranges especially, you can see it. These things look like somebody painted a picture. They're beautiful orange. They got nice color to them. They almost look perfect. There's a reason for that because it has been sprayed. It's been, something's been messed with it, you know. You know who owns Hidden Valley? Who? Clorox. Clorox. Clorox bought Hidden Valley for $8 million in 1972. Clorox really owns Hidden Valley? Yep. Cleaning company owns wow. Hidden Valley. Wow. They didn't make it though. It was originally from um, a person in Santa Barbara. They had a 120-acre ranch in Santa Barbara. Hey, guess what? What? That ranch tastes like bleach. No, I'm just kidding. You <laughs> that's never funny, know, that. right? <laughs> that's Maybe that's funny. a bio Oh, man. But think about it, okay? And I'll show you another product. Stacy just bought this today, too. <laughs> okay? And we, we really didn't look into it until I was watching videos on it. Look. Y'all see what that is? Garlic Alfredo sauce. Well, that's a good brand. It's a brand you'd find at like Walmart, Publix, Target, anywhere. That we bought it at Target. But if you read on it too, it says the same damn thing as the other one says. Contains bio engineered food ingredients. It says that it's hard to see on my camera, but it does say it. Believe me, it does say it. But it says the same damn thing. Everything we're buying is going to be like that. For you, for a person to go out there and say, you know what? If it says it on there, I'm not going to buy it. How are you going to do that? 
If it's in everything, you can't. You have to have something, right? Well, it's, how are you going to avoid it? You can't avoid it. You know, you got a lot of people out there who said, well, you know, I'll avoid, you know, going to the grocery store and buying fruits and vegetables because I can grow them myself. But if you really think about it, look at the time and the effort and the money it takes to grow food. It, it, it's and, and then have to work. Like me, I have to work. So it ain't like I got time to go out there every day and pull weeds out of a garden and re hoe it up and do all the stuff it takes to keep that garden going and fertilize it and water it and everything else and watch it. I don't have time to do that because I got to go to work to make money. So these people that and these companies that make this stuff knows that we we're going to have they're we're, they're going to make it like this and we're going to buy it like this. You know why? Because ain't nobody got no damn balls. But that's messed up, man. Next time you're going to a grocery store, look and see if I'm lying. Look this stuff up. Go in there and find something that doesn't say that. Go in there and find something that doesn't say it. I think it's kind of dirty of our government to make to be uh, passing these laws and letting these, these big companies of these food companies just do what the hell they want to. And you know why they use big words and stuff like that? You know why they use big words? To confuse you. Because ain't nobody going to read a Bible full of, uh, you know, a list of shit that's it's like huge about a food. How many people actually go in there and read every single ingredient that's put into something? I don't. I don't even read the fat there's, content. There's, there's, <laughs> hey, there's stuff in foods that you don't even know what it is. I have no clue what it is. You know, I really don't. I mean, I'm reading right here. There's just... You don't know. You know, they say it contains a bioengineered food ingredient. That means there's an ingredient in each of these that's bioengineered. But what could that be? I don't know. Is what, it the milk? What do all these have in common? Well, they have there's water, cream, soybean, soybean oil, Parmesan cheese. I don't know, y'all. Milk. There is milk in it, but there's no milk in this. Let's see this one. Hold on. Water. Oh, maybe it's in the water now. Soy sauce. Soybeans. It's crazy, y'all. Soybeans. Soybean. All this stuff does carry soybean. I wonder what other ingredients they have. But it's in a lot of stuff. Y'all can look it up. Go to the grocery store. Next time you go to the grocery store, go in there. And actually, when you pick up something, read the back of it and see what it says. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's in a lot of stuff, y'all. It's in macaroni noodles. It's in hamburger helper. It's in Stouffer's. Anything that you can grab, it's in It's in almost everything. It's even in bread. It's in all kind of stuff. So it's like, what, what did our government let this, these big companies do? What did they let them do? Because this really doesn't answer the question when it says bioengineered. What does that mean? What does that mean? What are they doing? Yeah, that's true. And I guarantee you, if it's coming from a big company that's making money off of foods, then it doesn't suit us. It suits whatever the hell they, they can to make their big money off of us. Yep, that's true. And I really, I hate to say it like this, but I really think they try to treat us like cattle. I think that we're, that all of all people, they treat us like cattle. We're like cattle. And, uh, Pretty much, they can do what they want to, and you know what? Nobody's going to say nothing. They're just going to keep eating. You're going to be like a damn sheep led Very to the slaughter, true. like a cow led to the slaughter, and nobody's going to buck. You know? <laughs> it's even in baby food, y'all. Ooh. It's even in baby foods. To be honest with you. And if, if you really, because I don't, I don't have the right terms, and I don't have the, the big knowledge of knowing exactly what bio engineering means but i've watched a lot of videos on it it's in a lot of stuff it's even in baby foods now y'all know it a baby and you're feeding it stuff that's not organic or, or that's not something ain't right with it that can mess a kid up man yeah what can this do to us can it give us you know can it make people messed up who knows who knows who knows what it can do that's true what they're trying to do who knows who knows they just let they pass laws for these big companies to make Buku's of money while they sit here and feed us damn poison. Think about it. It's poison. That's very true. Something ain't natural, y'all, is poison. Like this cigarette. Think about it. This cigarette is poison. I know it's poison. I know I need to quit. Y'all know I need to quit. Y'all probably saying it right now. He needs to quit smoking. Y'all right. But I know 
I'm doing something that ain't good for me, you know. But when you go to the grocery store and you're feeding your children and you're feeding your family because they're hungry and they got to eat, and you pick this up and say, well, I'm going to fix my good dinner tonight. It's going to be shrimp Alfredo, and I'm going to have the garlic bread and all this to feed my family, and they'll have a good hot meal, homemade. And then you find out you're feeding them damn poison. Mm -hmm. That somebody has genetically did something with it. So that means it ain't natural. That means it didn't come from nature. That means that they have did something with this in a laboratory. And, it, and, it's, and it's crazy. And American people, we ought to be flipping the hell out about this. This is another thing we ought to be flipping out about. And y'all want to bring up this too since I'm making a video. Have y'all heard about the F-35 fighter jet that came up missing <laughs> an f-35 raptor <laughs> fighter jet just came up missing just came up missing we don't know what the government's and they don't know where it's at you know how much one of them cost one that's dressed all out from what i hear and from what i've read it's worth about 140 million dollars and we just lose, we just lose something, $140 million. Just capable of doing whatever. It, it's got missiles on it. It's got, it can do all kind of stuff. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Man, I tell you what. It's messed up these days. It's messed up these days. And people need to start paying attention. You got to raise hell. We ought to raise hell about stuff. And you know what? I watched a video, another video today. And guess what they're doing in Australia? Uh-oh. Yeah. Lockdown. Lockdown. They're locking Australia down. Guess for what? Y'all can guess it. They did it to, they tried to do it to our country. They're locking them down, y'all. Here we go. Another round of BS. Here we go. <laughs> Tell you, I don't trust them. I don't trust none of them mothers up there. They're in it for the money. They're in it for themselves. And you know what? The people in New York City were pretty pissed the other day when AOC come out there and some of them people, them Democrats came out there and was talking about the immigrants, welcoming the immigrants and stuff like that. And the, yeah. and the what was it? I think it was a, a Latin caucus or a Hispanic caucus. Something like that. So AOC was out there talking her mess. And guess what? There was people out there screaming, you need to close the border, close the borders. Y'all better do something. Y'all better do something fast, because guess what? They say there's there's like 5,000-something people on a convoy hit this way. <laughs> right now, they're going through the jungles right now. And, and one of the roughest part of the jungles they can go in South America, from what they say. And they're headed this way. Man, y'all letting everybody in here. Y'all don't know who you don't know who you're dealing with. Who's to say somebody come in here and steal that F, F, uh, F-35? Who's, who's to say it wasn't a, a terrorist? Yep. And, it, and they, they took it somewhere. You know? That's true. And another thing is, don't get me wrong. I like that we're getting American people back. Right? That was in Iran. We're getting people that was, that was held captive. But that was a stupid deal. That was a stupid deal. Six billion dollars. Six billion dollars. To get them people back. That was part of the deal. Six billion dollars. We have six billion dollars to give to Iran to get back five or six people, right? Which, don't get me wrong. I think we need to get back the Americans. But I think we could have made a better deal than that. <laughs> Bottom line. That's true. Now, six billion dollars. Where the hell did they get that money from? They got money to do that? But they ain't got money to help them people in uh, Hawaii. They want to give the people in Hawaii $700. We just give $6 billion to Iran to help smooth the deal out to get our Americans back. Mm -hmm. Think about this, okay? The people that comes across the border and gets caught, they're not turning them back. They're not just saying, hey, get your ass back across there. They're not trapped. They're not flying them back. They're taking them to these cities all over this country. Okay? All over the country. At nighttime, where people can't see them. 
Guess what kind of money they get? Guess what kind of money, cash money, cash money, American money, they get for being over here illegal? Guess what kind of money they get? They get better than anybody, huh? $2,400. They get $2,400 and they're in this country illegally. They give them $2,400. Okay? But yet they want to give the people from the fires they got everything they lost, $700. And if you really think about it, how many millions and billions and trillions of dollars have we give to Ukraine? Wow. Crazy, right? And guess what? This ought to, that, see, this, all this right here ought to sink in. And it ought to piss you off like it pisses me off. All that money that we're giving to Ukraine to fight a proxy war. To fight something that's Donald Trump said he could fix it in one day. He said he could fix it in one day. Maybe he can. We'll find out. We'll find out. I really believe that. But to give all that damn money, taxpayers' money, that's your money, that's my money, that's her money. The taxpayers, the people that work in this country that we work so hard for, that go to our taxes, that's supposed to go for our people and our country, is getting thrown away by going to other countries, fighting another war. We won't shut the border down in our damn country. We got people coming across from all over the world, not from South, of, not just South America, Mexico, not just that, all over the world. We got money to send to Ukraine to protect their damn borders, but they won't spend one damn dime to protect our borders. Fentanyl coming in left and right, killing people left and right, fentanyl. Look up how many fentanyl deaths has happened within the last one to two years. Look it up. Look it up. A lot. A lot. More than you've ever heard before because it wasn't really here before. Now it's easy access to get here. People better wake the hell up, man. I'm telling you, y'all better wake the hell up. I don't, I don't. Stuff don't make no sense. And the thing about it is it ought to be making everybody mad and it don't. That's what worries me the most. When I see American people just sitting back and they don't give two shits. And they're letting this administration that's in our White House and, they can, and these people that control things in our government to just sit here and screw us and nobody gives a damn. Everybody just thinks life is what it is. Hmm. Crazy. To me, that's the scariest thing is to know how many people are just sitting back and don't pay attention and don't put this together. You got Americans in Honolulu over there. They got their houses burnt down. And I think that was shady. I think there's something behind that. I heard that was done on purpose because they want to take back over the land over there. They're trying to Okay, get back. you had that happen to these Americans. They're Americans, just like anybody else. They're Americans. They worked for their, Hawaiian. their, their place. Hawaii. They're going to give these people $700? What the hell is $700 going to do if you lost damn everything? That that's a damn. To me, that's a disrespect and a smack in the damn face. And you know the bad thing about it? The people that actually live on that island that didn't get affected by the fire, they went in to bring supplies and things to help them people. And guess what? They were told they couldn't help them. The government, FEMA, Red Cross, wouldn't even let them bring this stuff in to the people. Now, you tell me there ain't some shit going on. I think there's a lot of shit going on. Yep. Mm hmm That's right. And it, it makes me angry. It makes me I, it's, It makes me so mad, I taste blood. Mm -hmm. Because I see that we're getting screwed. And then people over there in Hawaii are getting screwed. They are. And these people get hit with these hurricanes down here in Florida and Georgia and all them places get hit and they lost every damn thing. They can't get nothing. But yet we can send billions and trillions of dollars to Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Think about it. We got shit too. Think whose whose pockets are being lined. All you gotta do is follow the money. Mm -hmm. Look who's look who's making the money. 
true. Look who has ties to Ukraine. Yeah. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure out who's ties to Ukraine. They were past presidents. And there was a couple of them. A lot of shady stuff went on. Oh, man. That got me worked up, Stacey. Yeah, it made you hot. I'm hot That right makes now. me pissed. It makes My me pissed. Up. It really does. To see Americans hurt, and we can send all that damn money to other countries, and they can do this. You know who they did this for? This wasn't for the Americans to live here. This wasn't for us. This was for these big ass food companies to make a dollar. Yep. And what are we being put with? What is this doing? What is this going to do in a couple of years? Mm -hmm. When we start eating all this shit, what's it going to do to our bodies? What's yep. it going to do? We're the guinea pigs. Y'all tell me in the comments by eating this stuff in a couple of years, what is it going to do to our bodies? Well, Give us more cancer? We're going to die from it? Mm -hmm. They're not going to tell us the damn truth. They don't. Government and all them assholes don't never tell nobody the truth. It's all a big lie. They'll wait until something happens like, oh, now we got to try something. They'll else. blame it on something. You know what? Somebody will die and they'll blame it on the, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. They're locking Australia down. I can't say it on here. The ban my damn videos or right. put strikes on me. Horrible. I'm telling you, y'all. This ought to make people fighting mad. Mm -hmm. This right here alone. But then when I talk about the money that's being spent, and it ain't being spent for the Americans, it's going to everybody else in this world. We're helping out. Everybody. But us. Yep. And that's our damn money. That's our money we work for to pay taxes to take care of the American people. Yep. How can you help somebody else if you can't help your damn self, yep. you got to make sure your house is right before you can go help somebody else. That's you got to pull the stick out of your eye before you can go help somebody else. Look at inflation. Look what it's done to the prices of stuff. Go buy something. Mm -hmm. And people still like that, that, that guy that don't know what the hell he's doing. That, oh, well, he's just, you know, he's just old and he's just, uh, they keep using that excuse, right? They keep using that excuse. Well, he's old and, you know, uh, he's just getting seen now and he's an older man. But look at the stuff he's did in the past. I don't want them to blame it on old. I don't want them to blame it on he's got Alzheimer's or nothing like that. I don't he want that. That's excuse. just an excuse. What about the stuff that he was right in his damn mind that he did to our country by taking money from China and his damn son taking money from China? Mm-hmm. And his son's going to, son, I'm going to sue the IRS. I'm going to sue the IRS because of <laughs> tax records they shouldn't have released. That asshole ought to be, Hunter Biden ought to be in jail, y'all. Y'all know that just as well as I do. He, his ass ought to be in jail. But you sit here and want to indict Donald Trump, and you sit here and want to suppress the First Amendment, and you want to go after guns, which is the Second Amendment. Y'all will never take my damn guns. I don't care how many laws you pass. I'm just like the criminal. You ain't taking no damn guns from me and all mine legit. Yep. Bet that. Bet that. And you think I'm going to give a gun up right now with you letting all them criminals and people in this country and I don't know about? That makes me hold on to them guns even more, baby. <laughs> makes you want to buy more. You, hey, I'll buy more. Thank you. Anyways, y'all, y'all can see I'm pissed about this. It's the truth. If you don't believe me, go look this stuff up, man. Go in the grocery store. When you go in there, look at this stuff, man. Read on the back what it says. Read on the back. Do your do your do your diligence uh, research on these all these foods. There's a lot, man. It ain't just like a couple items. It's almost them every item that's got that on there. And what is it doing to your kids? What is it doing to your family? What is it doing to you? Yep. I'm telling you, y'all. We gotta we gotta do something. We gotta do something. But. You know, people just want to sit back and watch football. And football season's on now, y'all. So, hey, who cares that the country's going to shit? We got football, you know? We got football. We can watch football. We got football to, to watch. You know, the college football and the NFL's on right now. My favorite team's playing. And uh, Joe Burrows is playing. You know, let's see how they do this year. And our damn country's falling apart. You got a border wide open. Guess what? When you're in there in Texas watching your football game in Texas... <laughs> On your couch, eating popcorn and wings, and all of a sudden, some damn illegal comes in there and starts kicking your ass, then you can say, well, hell, I maybe shouldn't have been watching football. I should have worried about the border. You damn right you should have. <laughs>
<laughs> That's how I feel, y'all. But anyways, we love you guys. We haven't made a video in a while. It's just me and Stacey. We needed to say some things and get some things out there. We'll make more videos when we can. We just kind of, you know, we're busy all the time. Y'all, we really got busy stuff. We've been, our house has been still getting fixed and everything like that. And so that's a nightmare, but. That's a nightmare and that's a long story. Yeah. But anyways, y'all, we love you. Always tell your family you love them. Always tell the person you love you love them. If you can still weapon permit holder, carry that gun. We need you out there. For these idiots, we need you out there. Always, always, always follow God. No matter what nobody says, no matter what people say out there about God, hey, read the Bible. It's the truth. That's the only truth. So help me God. That's the only truth. Anyways, y'all, we'll talk at you later. Me and Stacy. Bye. Bye, y'all. We love you. Love you. See ya.